Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's And the people marvel. I said this one is different from the preaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. For this one as one with authority. Jesus, I want to speak tonight the way you will speak. Father, I want to manifest you tonight to your glory and to the shame of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, let the voice that we hear it tonight be your voice through a man. Let the voice that they will hear hearing from the kingdom of the darkness be a thunder that will death them, or crush them in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, because I know Thank you, you have prevailed already. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Because you have prevailed we have prevailed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Weep not. The lion of Judah huh. is thy conqueror. Weep not. The lion of Judah has conquered for you. Mm. Yeah, not cry, not lament, not the lion of Judah is a conqueror. <laughs> Weep not, the lion of Judah is a conqueror. <laughs> If they came in the land of Israel, where a battle was set in array. And there was a man called Goliath from the Philistine. If you go with me to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, you will know what I'm talking about. And these that came out and said, you are not supposed to be doing all you are doing. You are not supposed to set the battle array with us. What you need to do, bring out a man. Say a man. A man. man. Bring out a man. All I need is a man. All the world needed to be redeemed was a man. All we needed to be saved was a man. Mm. And Goliath said, bring out a man who can challenge me. Just as the father, the devil was raging, bring out a man who can challenge me and bring sin to death. Bring out somebody who can do this. The Bible says, when it was announced in heaven, 
that we needed a man that we go. Nobody could stand. And on that fateful day, Goliath was boating as huge as he is. Who is that man that can challenge me? I don't know who is that Goliath in your family, in your community, wherever they are, that is boasting and saying, you will never be. This man was ready, popping. The Bible says the king himself, hid himself. David brothers, he deserves all the armies of Israel. They were hiding from one place to the other. Why? They were looking at the bigness of the man. They were looking at the situation. And they forget the solution. But this little boy, his name is David came out. And when he saw this man, where the other people were seeing him as a very big giant, he saw him as a bird. Where other people were seeing him as a killer, he uh, himself saw him as a bird that he can kill with just a stone. What matters in that problem is not the problem, it's how you see the problem. The reason why the problem is persisting is because you garnish it. For good 40 days, do you know what is 40 days? A whole nation was hold bound. A whole nation was in silence. I mean the nation of God, Israel, for good 40 days. Why? Because the whole nation saw the problem as a very mighty problem. But David saw the giant that people were running from as a bird. Listen carefully. The Bible says when David killed Beer in the bush, he used bear. He used maybe knife. But when he saw this man, he said, I have no need to I have no need to evaluate lion, evaluate get more than Goliath. I have no need to use pair on you, you uncircumcised Philistine. You have the infantry. You have the boldness to announce that you defy the God of Israel. I will not only defy you, I will destroy you. <laughs> I will not only defy you, Goliath, I will destroy you. That sickness that have defied your body, that problem that have defied your family, I don't know what you are thinking about it. I don't know how you see it. The topic that says aim at the solution and not the situation. The topic says aim at the solution and not the situation. He said to us, look out to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. When you are looking out to Jesus, you look away from your problem. When you are looking out to Jesus, Jesus will be looking at the problem for you. David took his eyes away from Goliath and placed his eyes on the Almighty God. He said, Mr. Man, you have, de you have defied the God of Israel. You are not afraid. You are not afraid. You left your country and came here and started making noise. That noise we stop tonight. Amen. I don't Amen. know how many people here that Satan have held back for so long. No movement. Everything is stagnant. The enemy are raging. They are bursting. Tonight, 
if you can look at the solution giver and take your eyes away from the, from the situation, I tell you, the mouth of the enemy shall be silent tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you go to 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 42, or there about. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he, dis he, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. 43. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with seals? And the Philistine cursed David by his God. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give the flesh unto the fowl of the air and the beast of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with the sword, but find now, and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name. The Bible says the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is a strong tower. And the righteous running to it, they are saying, Say, I come to you in the name of the God of Israel, whom thou hast defied. He looked away from his, from his arrow, from everything, and quickly connected to the name. Say, if I boast on any other thing, this man might bring me down. I better connect myself now to the source of power. I better connect myself to the source of power. Tonight, if you can connect yourself to the source of power tonight, every problem that follow you here, I don't care to know how long that problem has persisted. I don't care to know how long that forces of darkness have oppressed, depressed, manipulated you. A day came in Israel that Goliath became silent forever. He became silent forever. Tonight is the night to silence that power, that demon, that forces that says you will never go there. But all you need to do is to connect yourself to that big name. To that name that is higher above all that name. Philippians 2, 8 to 10. Because he humbled himself to the point of death, even to the death of, of the cross. So the Father, the Almighty God, have highly exalted him above all name, of the name in heaven, of the name on earth, of the name beneath the earth, that are the mention of his name, I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Every knee must bow down. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of the Father. How many of us tonight we take our eyes away from our problem and connect our eyes to the Almighty and connect our eyes to the source of solution. Take your eyes away from that problem now and look on to the solution giver. The Bible told us in Matthew chapter 9, verse 27. Matthew chapter 9, verse 27. Say, and when Jesus departed, thanks. Two blind men followed him. Two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy from us. Remember, you told the other day when you are saying, Thou son of David, it will hardly attend to you. You are not going there right now. Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. He keep on moving, keep on going. The blind man came to him and said, said unto him. And Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. Do you believe tonight? He asked them, 
I know you are shouting. I know you'll be calling. But do you really believe of what you are saying right now? I know you are fasted for 10 days. You are fasted for two days. Do you really believe in the prayer you were praying? Jesus saw the heart. Before he asked this question, he knows everything. You are connected tonight. Do you really believe that tonight is marking the end of that problem? Do you really believe that Jesus Christ is able to do it tonight? And he said to them, your shouting does not move me. Your fasting and prayer does not move me. Your cry and lament does not move me. What moves me is your faith on me. What moves me is your believing that I am able. If that problem must be solved tonight, what we bring, what we make Christ to look at, look away from others and come to you directly is your connection. As we are talking now, some people are sleeping, waiting to the point of saying, Holy Ghost, come down. Jesus know you, my sister. He know you, my brother. This one that shouted all the way from the road. He entered his house. Or he, he entered his house. I don't know the kind of house he entered. They still follow him inside. Though they were blind. They still followed him. Yet, he still asked them the question, do you believe? What about those who just sleep now till maybe 3 o'clock or to the point of prayer? He will not even care to ask the question because if you believe him, you would have listened to his word. And he asked them, believe me that I am able to do this? Believe me that that demon can hear my voice, my name, and run away? Believe me that that document will be given to you as I as they call my name? The problem is Believe in him. You might be crying and shouting, but you don't believe. Crow could die tears. Tears for people to pity you. Tears for people to say, hey, oh, this is time you'll be suffering. Hey, see the way she cry. The Lord is not looking for such tears. It's not looking for people that are because the people are pitying you. Jesus is looking for people who will believe him, who will trust him. And say, I know that today, because my redeemer is here, I will be redeemed tonight. Amen. Because my redeemer liveth, I shall live. Because it's living, I can face tomorrow. David did it. And he brought Goliath down. He believed in that name. Though I am not seeing him, I trust he's able to do it. I don't know if you believe tonight. If anything must happen in your life tonight, it's your connection between you and Jesus, not me. Is the connection between you and Christ. What is that connection? What connects you and Christ together is your faith. Amen. What connects us and Christ together is our faith. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They said to him, yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. If we don't believe you, we've been following you for so long. I don't know how long we follow Christ and you have surrendered. I say, no. Even if we have planned, we are following you. We trace you home. I don't know how long they be crying since. They be following him. They follow him to the point of their deliverance. Everybody had a point of deliverance. Everybody 
has his or, or her own point of deliverance. And when your point comes, you are not found there, or you withdraw back before your time. Maybe your point will come again after seven years. Oh, or after seven weeks. That's why you see people, so people will stay in a position of problem for so long. Know that Christ cannot do it. At the point of your deliverance, and your deliverer comes, you are not there to be delivered. I come again. If at the point, at the time of your deliverance, your deliverer comes, you are not there to be delivered. Your deliverance will not take place. Mm. We'll be high. Mm. Mm. Then you will start again. Mm. Every spirit of starting over and over again. Ah. It has ended tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Please. I want us, to, let me digress a little bit. I want us to be very careful. To be very, very careful. I don't know why it was coming now. Yesterday, I was telling Brother Dennis, it's time for me to learn driving lessons now. I mean, to learn driving. Because there are many things to do. So, today, this day now, it showed to me that I must be careful, even in driving. It showed to me in Germany here, there is a driving school that is called Devil's Driving School. Mm -hmm. Boldly written, Devil <coughs> Driving School. Meaning, my son, if you go to any drive, check the sign, but check them very well. Devil's driving school. The number of their car is 66. I mean physical, not revelation, physical. That's true. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not talking revelation, I mean physical. Mm -hmm. Devil's driving school. Their car is painted with black and hair, hair fire, this thing under. Plate number 66. They have the school. They have teachers. They have they have the big cyber there. Uh, people are in that school learning driving. Where are you driving to? Driving to hell. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where you where you learn learn your driving. Maybe, maybe their own was not pronounced. But the, the those that taught you, they were demons. They were Satan in disguise. You better go and pray, Lord, my driving license, so I bring it before you. I don't want to drive it to hell. That I pass. Hmm. I come again, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And he asked them, you believe I can heal you? And they cried, yes, Lord. Let's read tonight. I'm reading Matthew 9. They touched their eyes. They touched he their eyes, saying, according Say to yourself, according. According. According to your faith, be it unto you. According, mm -hmm. if true, you are not fabricating your faith, which I see now. If it's true, you are truly serving me with all your heart, let's see now. If it's true, because all that are singing, you are singing, we shall see. If it's true because others are connecting, you are also connecting, we shall see. Or if it's true, you are here to just see what Apostle Man will say about other churches, other men of God, we shall see. Some people will, carry, will be dropping their problem, some people will be carrying it. Because some people to carry information. Listen. Some came to drop their problem. Why some came to carry information? You information carrier, you also carry the demons that all are long ago away. It all depends on you. 
be it unto you according to your faith. Now, are you looking at the situation tonight? And you forget, you forget about the solution giver. If you are looking at the bigness of the solution of the problem of the situation, you will go back with it. I want to tell you this now. You better start underrating that problem now. And begin to, to raise Jesus Christ up now. You better start downgrading that problem now. And begin to upgrade Christ in your heart. Yes. If you rate that problem more than Christ, you will remain there. What has helped me and still helping me in this land is because the way I carried my God when I came. I never entertained fear one day. I never saw any situation to be so big one day. Because I know, as I was supposed to say, I know who I believe is able to deliver me. Is able to say that which I committed into his hand. I am persuaded. I believe that the word was formed by my father. I believe whatever he does not allow will never come to me. Mm -hmm. I believe the thought he had towards me is a thought of good and not of evil. To take me to my, uh, to my very expected end. And his expectation is my expectation. The problem is when God is expecting something from you, you are expecting another thing. You are God and walking like this. Come together with him. Think what he thinks about you. Plan what is planning with you. I agree. Amos 3 3 says, it can two work together unless they agree. He told these two blind men, the only way you can be healed is when you agree with me. Jesus is looking for somebody tonight who will agree with him. Who say, who say hey, this situation, I've been in agreement with you for so long. This sickness, I've been in agreement with you for so long. I've nurtured you for so long. I've pampered you for so long. Today, I will perish you. The Lord wants us to agree with him tonight. Say, be it all to you according to your faith. And your eyes were open. Would your eyes be open tonight? Would that sickness go tonight? Would that problem go tonight? Will your situation change tonight? It is in your faith. It is in your believing in Him. It's not every miracle He will perform as Judah is carried. Sorry, as uh, Lazarus. Not every miracle. That's a, most miracle that you perform, you always tell them, according to your faith. Be it unto you, according your faith has made you well. Tonight, I want you to step up your faith and believe in him. And the eyes were open, and Jesus Strictly charge them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad <laughs> in all the country. Now, they know, even when Jesus told them, Don't say about it, for it to be permanent, they must talk about him. The man named Jesus. What he had done for you before. Have you testified about it? That little one, he thought it was so little. I can't talk about this. Have all the big one that will come your way. That little testimony that the Lord gave to you. He said, this one, I can't say anything about this. Have all the one that you are thinking when you come. You will hear it. He that is faithful in little, be faithful in much. Praise Master Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Any couples that are not faithful where they were dating after marriage, they will not be faithful. Mm. We will not make them faithful. If they were not faithful where they were boyfriend or girlfriend, permit me to use that word. After marriage, not we hold them. If you are not faithful with little, you cannot testify of the little thing you think it is little. Yeah, are done for you. Even though it brings it bring your word to you, you will not testify. The Bible told us in Luke chapter 8, from verse 43 to 44, to 48, 43 to 48. Remember, our topic is aim at the solution, or the solution giver, and not the situation. Aim at the solution. Aim at the solution giver, and not the situation. We have, we have garnished this situation for so long. We are mimic. Hey, will I ever get documents? Oh, mm, we'll take the book, the book, you know. Instead of you to be saying, hey, father, when take this document, I will go to America with it. I'll preach to you. I'll preach for you. I will go to UK. Instead of you to be saying what we do when he give it to you. You are saying what we do when Satan disappoint you, when Satan disgrace you, you will never be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thinking about how you will go to grave, if that sickness kill you, not how you will jump up and say, "Hey, Jesus, Jesus, thank you," when He heals you, according to your heart, so it will be. According to your mind, according to how you meditate, you are meditating on the problem, meditating on the aftermath of the problem. What the way you will behave, the way people will be calling you, hey, okay, hello, they debate you, God forbid it. Jesus, how, Lord. how will it be? Hey, hey, I will not get to Lagos. Hey, from Lagos, hey, to, to Kanna, hey, is that what you be thinking? Or how will it be when even they will not even give you the passport? You'll be flying up and down declaring the word of God. According as what thought shall be. According, I never saw myself be deported. Even when I was in Spain. I, I never saw it. I never saw myself. Living in sort of pain anymore. You know why? I know my Redeemer liberate. Yeah. I do my Redeemer liberate. I know my Redeemer liberate. He liberate. I know every day I live. Yes, I live. I know my provider live. Oh, daddy, you live. I know my Redeemer will never fail me. He will never, never fail me. I know my Redeemer will never disappoint me. He will never disappoint me. I know my Redeemer will never I want to ask you now, do you know your Redeemer live? Oh, yes, he live. Do you believe 
your Redeemer liveth. I believe. Do you truly believe? Your Redeemer liveth. I tell you, he liveth forever. If you believe your Redeemer, leave it. Live your life as someone that believes. Live as someone who knows his God. Thank you, Jesus. You can't raise God up and it will be good there. It's not possible. You can't lift his name up. And he, he cannot bring himself there. We have celebrated Satan for so long. Whenever we are thinking of the negativity, hey, if this is kill me now, ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if they deport me now, hey, if I never give back now, you are meditating on what Satan will do to you. And Satan is there taking the glory. David all through his life never glorified Satan. He always see what God can do. He always know that his enemy are down before him. He always know that all problems are down before him. Thank you, Lord. Okay. He said the reason why you don't have faith in him is because you don't fear him. The reason why you are afraid of that problem is because you don't fear him. Mm-hmm. So if you fear him, you will know that he's able to do all things. The reason why men are, not af- uh, why men are afraid of the problem of sickness is because the fear of God is not in him. It's not in them. When you fear God, you will believe He's able to do all things. Luke chapter 8, 46 and 48. And a woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, which had spent all his living, all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, neither could be healed of any. I don't know who you have depended on before now. You have been depending on pastors, on apostles. Tonight, just connect yourself to God tonight. Connect yourself to God. This woman has tried. You have been looking up to men. Going from one man to the other. But the Bible says they were only eating her money. The little money she had was squandalized because of her problem. The came behind him and touched the, the border of his garment. And immediately, immediately, her issue of blood stinked. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all have denied, Peter, Peter and the, the, they that were with him said, Master, the, the multitude throne, the uh, prezi, and said, said thou who touched me? And Jesus said, somebody had touched me. Who will touch him tonight? Who will touch him tonight? Me. Mm. May God bless that man in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. There are a lot of virtue tonight that, that I need to go out. So I perceive something has gone out of me. Jesus Christ did not lay hand upon this woman. Jesus Christ, did not, it was faith to faith, mind to mind. If you, if you read it in Matthew, in Matthew 10, so because this woman had proposed in her heart that if only I can touch him, if only I can say amen. If only I can say, Lord Jesus, I will be healed. I will be delivered. 
And when the woman saw that she was not hid, verse 47, and when the woman saw that she was not hid, he came trembling and falling down before him. He declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and saw she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, whose name we Christ called to that again? Jesus is passing away to that again. Whose name will he call? Out of thousands, the Bible says many people were there. Peter said, Jesus, Master, why will you speak like this? People are touching up and down. Many might touch, but only one he will touch. Many might touch him, but only one will receive his own touch. Who is that person tonight? Now, daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith, thy faith has made the whole. Go in peace. Amen. The Lord will tell somebody tonight. Go in peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As many that desire to touch him, for them to also be touched. This one says, Touch me one more time. Go As you are touching him, you must also expect his own touch. Don't want to touch me. Strong have gone out of me. Because the, the, the woman touched in faith. She said, No way. You this issue of blood. I cannot, I cannot celebrate you anymore. I'm going today to the source of solution. And when I get there, I'm not gonna pass through Peter. I'm not gonna pass through Paul. I'm not going to pass to anybody. I'm going to meet him direct. I'm going to touch him direct. Tonight, look not on to any man. Look not, look not on to any apostle tonight. Look on to Jesus. Because whatever Christ would it do, remain adored forever. If she have touched Peter, she would have gone back home the same way. If she have touched any of the apostles, she would have gone back home the same way. But she said, no, I'm touching the master. Who will touch the master tonight? Who will touch Jesus tonight? I tell you, I will nobody touch him in faith. I will, I, will I will touch him tonight. There's something you must touch him for. There's mm. something I must touch him for. But it's all depends on how you touch him. Oh. This man touched him and said, Lord, I, I, I can understand as she was struggling to get there, the blood rushing. The blood had all left for you. I only bought ticket for you to come here. You are not following me back. You rush in. You will drive up today. She begin to go. And stroke. I want you to, in your mind now, begin to use your mind to take away every obstacle on the way. Amen. Every rocks, Amen. every obstacle, begin to put them away now. This was she struggle her way through. Some, some were there to eat bread and to eat whatever, but she knew why she was there. So then, was just there to, to listen to prophecy? But she was there for a specific solution. I can say today now, some people are connected, they don't even know where they are connected. So people don't have one thing in mind. You say, Father, either I want my spiritual life to grow. Nothing in mind at all. They are here for, to inspect inspectators. They are here to look. 
Why is somebody saying that, Father? This message is mine. Hey, Jesus, I'm touching you tonight. Father, and this is my message. Father, I'm touching you. Jesus, no matter how people are many, it's my turn to shine. Tonight is my night. Today will not pass me by. Hmm. Yeah. What am I saying? Let me see the next English we speak. Let me see if my guy speak English. You are here to hear English. You are here to listen to the fluently. The fluent of the English, no problem. Don't worry, I'll go to UK and learn more because of you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because of you, I'll go to UK and go to English school. Because of this English over here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are touching Jesus. You are you are looking at the English. No problem. <laughs> I possible say I have no call to you with eloquent speaking. I come there with the power in the world. Amen. Power in the world. Get a better ability the mistake. No problem. I'll keep saying it. Those who grab their own, we grab it. Why you go back home and start looking look at dictionary? Was that one day dictionary? Why you are making opening Bible, you are opening dictionary? Mm-hmm. Hey. Who is that person tonight? He's a father, I will not go home the way I came. Jesus, sleep, leave me alone. The reason why you can sleep there is because you, don't, you, don't, you, you, you love that problem. There are slaves that love their chains. Dog that love their chains. That those are the Christians, most of the Christians we have today. They want to be pitied. Hey, hey, hey sister, okay now. No, no, no. Hey. Is it forbidden for you to also tell other people though? Mm-mm. It's time for you to be celebrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey. Every mind of it is not possible. Maybe you've been coming before. You have been coming on this night of restoration. Tonight, you must be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. He said in Joy 2.32, and it shall come to pass, and whosoever shall call, Open ticket tonight. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Amen. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant of whom the Lord shall call. You are the call of God. Use the power of God to create something in your life. I don't know what the devil I'm taking from you. The witches are wizard in my village, in my father's house. Never thought I would ever go to Europe and stay for two days. My stepsister even boasted. I said, you will not go. But where they are saying you will not go, you are already there in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 So, people are not hearing me. That same place they are saying you will not get to. I oh. said you are already there in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 They said I'm going to never get this thing. <laughs> but Apostle Mana is going from country to country. They ever they said you will not be. Gather faith and tell them I'm already there. 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 Let me say something. It's not what they say. What matters is what you say. That's right. Forget about what they're saying. If you don't say it for them, it can never be. Mm-hmm. I come again. 
Whatever the witches and wizards are saying about you, if you don't approve it for them, in your mind, it can never come to pass. At all. And I want to pray now, say, as every negativity, every utterances of my enemy, that they have said concerning me that I have ever approved to them, knowingly and unknowingly, so let I disapprove it again. In the name of Jesus, I the that I've ever agreed with any and unknowing. I said to not I did not I did not in Jesus Christ, may we pray. Amen. The Bible told us in Psalm chapter 145, verse 18. And the Lord is near unto all them that, uh, that call upon him. Everyone. No exception. Unto everyone that call upon him. To all that call upon him. In what? In truth. In truth, are you truthful tonight to yourself? Yes. Is your body, soul, and spirit in agreement right now? Or your, your mouth is talking, your mind is saying another thing? And then shut up. You cannot be healed. That is inner voice saying what your mouth is not saying. I command it to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That thought disapproving what your mouth is approving now. I command that thought to silence in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say, Father, to your own night. Tonight, my own night, Father. My Brother, as long 
you are born again. As long as you fear God, you are doing your best to make sure you run from sin. Tonight is your night. As long you don't see sin and vehemently commit it, willingly fall into it. As long you don't know this person is a human being, you don't just hate him or her. As long you don't just do people do evil to people, you fear God. The Lord, you walk on your case tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. But if you are also a wicked person, wickedness is sin. The Bible told us in 2 Chronicles 7 14 that if my people, which are called by my name, they have called you tonight, they are humble themselves, they are humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and we give their, I will forgive their sins and I will heal their wounds, heal their lungs, heal their mm -hmm. mouth, heal whatever mm -hmm. sickness that is in them. Mm -hmm. Now we have two people now. Those who are already those people who are, are already living in the fear of God. Please, if I meet you, don't meet yourself again. Unless everybody are praying. Those who are already having the fear of God in their mind, say their case is already settled. There's a ticket for those who don't fear him. That if you humble yourself before you tonight and pray, say, Father, have mercy upon me. I have been a wicked person, but I am not born again. Oh, there's this envious spirit in me. I hate people for no reason. I easily get angry, and that anger will last for so long. I've come to ask for mercy tonight. Hey, the man of God said something. I said, it was me. I will not forgive. He hey, was talking to me. You are only killing yourself. Why? Because the man of God, God and his father are walking away. Why you are dying away? So such people will go and say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me. For the touch of God to touch you tonight, the coast must be clear. Your mind must be pure. Your hand must be clean. Every heaviness in us must be taken away. Amen. Jesus is looking for a light place to stay. Play that's not already occupied. That's not occupied with nights already. Play that's not, that is not already occupied with envy. He needs an old and empty space to stay. So that you will see that and say, Yes, I am the Lord. Of this house, put away that envy now. Put away that jealousy now. Put away whatever sin in your life now, so that you don't go back home the way you came, or even add more to it. My God is a God of righteousness and holiness. He said in Matthew seven verse six, "Give not that which is holy to the dog." Or cast of uh, pests to the swine, lest they trample over it and hit you down. I paraphrase. I want you either to stand up, those who are sleeping, get up now. Stand up and say, Father, search me. Whatever load in me, I will make you not to be able to enter and walk on me tonight. I command that load to be dropped out now. Every excess knowledge in my life, every excess knowledge in my heart, drop at me. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen
who are born again, but yet sometimes they have some some excess luggage they are carrying to heaven with which we, not, we, we never enter. Thank God tonight, the Lord has dropped those excess luggage from us. Amen. 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 The reason why it's good to pray this prayer, even though you think you don't have excess luggage, because you never can tell. Sometimes you sin unknowingly. Sometimes you don't know that you are even sinning. Sin. Whenever people are confessing sin, crying. Also confess. Don't say I'm already pure. No, if you ask there, you're not born again. Your time is now. Except a man is born again, he or she can never see the kingdom. Of God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And everything we shall be receiving tonight is from the kingdom of God. You mm. cannot, you cannot see what you cannot see. Amen. 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 You cannot get hold on, seize what you cannot see. That's why when a man is blind. Whatever they give to eat, you will eat. What is this? It's bread. Even though the bread is loaded with anything, you will not know. Tonight, the Lord will open our eyes to see in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Say after me, if you want to accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, before we enter into the next phase of the business. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word tonight. I've learned to take my eyes away from my problems and to look unto you, the solution giver. But this I cannot do in sin and iniquity. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you tonight. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sin. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me clean with your hyssop. Wash me clean with your hyssop. And purge me with your blood. And purge, purge me with your blood. I accept you tonight as my Lord and personal Savior. I accept you tonight as my Lord and personal Savior. Take my name away from the book of death. Take my name away from the book of death. And write it in the book of life. And write it in the book of life. And I'm born again now. I receive, the, again. I receive the power to go and see no more. You receive the power to go and see no more. All things have passed away. All things have passed away. And all things have become new. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. For saving my soul. For saving my soul. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Heaven is rejoicing right now. Jesus Christ is celebrating, and the angels are rejoicing for the arrival of the new soul. I pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. In chance of this, I give you all the praise, I give you all the honor, I give you all the adoration. I give you praise because I know you are the one that have done this tonight. Father, if judgment have come before now, if you have come before now, some people on this mountain right now would have been disappointed. Father, I thank you because I know your grace that has brought salvation have reached to this one, so God. I ask, O oh God, that this salvation remain permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The, the grace to hold on to the salvation, give it unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, because I know you have done it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how you came tonight. I don't know the burden.